Marseille closed the gap to 12 points behind leaders PSG after a 2-0 win at Saint-Étienne, stretching their unbeaten run to 15 matches in all competitions. OM led in just the seventh minute through Dimitri Payet, then secured the three points late on through forward Nemanja Radonjic to continue Saint-Étienne's poor form. Elsewhere in Liga, the top eights unchanged from before this round of fixtures despite Lille defeating Rennes. Strasbourg have leapt up to ninth with victory over bottom club Toulouse, who've managed just one point from their last 14 matches. Matchday 24s this weekend, PSG play Lyon. Angers president Saïd Chaban has been indicted for aggravated sexual assault charges after a spell in police custody. It continues a wave of sexual violence allegations in French sport recently across tennis, swimming, figure skating and now football. Four women linked to Angers have filed complaints with Chaban indicted in open judicial investigation for sexual assault by abusing his authority. Chaban has been placed under judicial control. Bayern Munich are into the DFB Pokal quarter-finals after seeing off Hoffenheim 4-3. After both sides scored a known goal, Bayern led thanks to Thomas Müller. Then a pair of goals from Robert Lewandowski put them in control. Munas Dabur replied for Hoffenheim with two goals of his own to give defending champions Bayern a late scare. Bayern held on, though, to reach the last eight. Barcelona will seek to put public infighting aside tonight when chasing a Copa del Rey semi-final spot at Athletic Bilbao. Sporting director Eric Abidal was publicly criticised by Lionel Messi for not taking responsibility for his decisions and for suggesting that first-team players didn't work hard enough for former head coach Ernesto Valverde. Barcelona are without Usman Dembele due to a reoccurring hamstring problem. I will focus on what I have to focus on, and that is football. I am only interested in giving my players the tools needed for them to play better football. As for everything else, I am truly not interested. Honestly, I'm not interested. I know that in any club like this there are problems. In all clubs around the world, for sure there are problems. But these are things that are simply a long way from my control. I cannot influence them. Barcelona are chasing their first silverware under new boss Kike Setien and their fifth Copa del Rey trophy in six seasons after losing to Valencia in last year's final. To the Euroleague basketball, where 21 points from Elijah Bryant helped Maccabi Fox Tel Aviv edge past visitors Kimki Moscow 80 77. Tel Aviv were 11 points behind at half time and were still a point down with little over a minute left. However, Devin Brooker tied the scores before a couple of unanswered two pointers from Bryant ensured the victory. Cycling now, and Nicolo Bonifazzo of Total Direct Energy won stage two of the Saudi Tour. There was a crash with 10k to go, including Mark Cavendish, who did well to recover. Heinrich Hausler of Byron McLaren shot out with one kilometre to go, but Bonifazzo caught him with 500 metres left. Phil Bozhaus was second, and Nasser Bahani finished third. Staying with cycling, and Dylan Haruna Vehun of Jumbo Visma triumphed in the opening stage of the Valencia Tour. In a packed sprint finish, the Flying Dutchman pipped Dekanik Quickstep's Fabio Jakobsen, who came second, with UAE Team Emirates' Alexander Kristoff finishing third. Britain's Ben Swift of Tim Ineos came in fourth. Finishing with the CEV Women's Volleyball Champions League, where Cannes were defeated at Maritza Plovdiv by three sets to one in Bulgaria. Cannes had taken the first set 25-17, but Plovdiv stormed back with the help of a partisan home crowd to take the next three 25-18, 25-12 and 25-21. It means group leaders Cannes must win their final pool match away at Dinamo Moscow to ensure that they will progress through to the quarterfinals. Elsewhere, it was more disappointment for French sides as Nantes also lost on the road despite a promising start, going down away at Alba Blage in Romania. Nantes won a tight first set 29-27, but back came Blage to claim the next three 25-13, 27-25 and 25-21. That means Nantes need success in their last match at Italian tabletop as Congoliano and favourable results elsewhere also to reach the last eight.